Disclaimer, this channel is not responsible for the careless decision of others, but please keep it civil and pure. Thank you. Today, I'm going to talk about something that happened over one week ago. Now, as you guys all know, the controversial topic is what everybody has been talking about since December 26, 2021. Vicky, what's that, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. Mon Max uploaded a video titled, Pick a Side, YouTube. And I have some thoughts about how successful this movement is going to be and how some people called certain creators pedophiles just because some of them expressed their concerns on Twitter and how those concerns that some of the commentary community made me worry a little bit if YouTube didn't get anything done. For starters, Mon Max started tweeting, Pick a side, YouTube. Children or pedophiles. And in that tweet, he tagged the YouTube CEO, Susan GC, along with a bunch of other creators, including Steers, Phil DeFranco, Teamstar, Michael Blyer, Shane Dawson, H3H3, Corpse Husband and Critical, aka Penguin Zero. Another person he also had who was pretty good at catching predators during his NBC days, who I admired and once respected him back then when I saw his show called Crime Watch Daily, which originally started in 2015, lived different, lived different host at the time, but that was when he was on the show. Since 2016 until the show ended in June 2018, almost four years ago. And his name is Chris Hansen. Now, some people in the commentary community gave their take on Twitter, and it didn't look good. Most of these people, who are probably on Mama Max's side, called some of them P.O.s. People like Nicholas Diorio, Cavos. and Optimus. We're called a pedophile or a pedophile defender for disagreeing with the hashtag. Penguin Zero had some thoughts on it as well. You gonna talk about the YouTube controversy? Is it the whole pick a side thing? I said this about the last thing he, he did, I think that's the absolute worst way of going about anything ever. It's exactly what that Matt guy did with the, uh, what was it, YouTube, YouTube Wake Up, I think it was, where he paints the platform as a safe haven for pedophiles. That doesn't affect anyone except the creators on there. He's been fucked by YouTube a lot, Mama Max as a creator has. But his way of going about it is like burn the whole thing down for everybody. Now, some of these creators made a video on the situation and pointed out 
the presentation that Mon Ma Max presented in the video was the of wrong wrong message. But I've seen Ma Mon Max commented on videos of creators who disagree with stands on Tikasai YouTube mainly because of his presentation. Not because of what Mon Max said in the beginning which had four words. We don't like pedophiles. That was the only thing these creators probably agreed with. But just the way they think it was presented was bad. Now, after watching Mom Max's video one week ago, is my opinion on Pikasai YouTube. I think what Mom Max did overall is great because he hit the nail on the coffin to pinpoint the issues that were being talked about in the video itself. However, I do think that some creators were overreacting a lot because after Mom Max tweeted this the next day before the year 2021, and it saying goodbye everyone which reads in part I had a phone call with you two yesterday we had an unexpectedly successful conversation about pushing the future of the platform in the right direction I will be meeting up with a representative in person soon to discuss details and will not stop hounding them until great changes have been made to benefit us creators I want to extend my sincere gratitude for all of you for spreading the word, both positive and negative. And I want to apologize to all of the creators I dragged into this, except Shane Buckham, as well as take the time to gush about all of my colleagues who accepted the invitation to appear in my video. You're all the most amazing and beautiful friends a man could ever ask for. I thank you so much for every day. Looks like YouTube takes her side, and I can't wait to see what 2022 brings. I'm gonna get off Twitter now and go back to my hole to make my regular content. I wish you all the best, and please stay safe out there. Happy New Year, everybody. This tweet was tweeted, tweeted around 7 o'clock p.m. my time, right before January 1st, 2022, and, well, here are, here is the uh, bottom line here. Bottom line is, there is not going to be any YouTube ad pop pop clips, and above all, there's not going to be you know another stupid change that YouTube will probably make. At least I hope not, because I just know that. Uh, what Mon Max is doing. I don't think he wanted a a YouTube ad apocalypse. I think he just wanted YouTube to actually change because YouTube never does until the creators have to make you know, have to like protest on the flat on their platform and speak up against YouTube's incapability to actually make a swift and permanent change like we've been asking for years. So that is the end all be all of, of all this pick aside the YouTube situation here and uh, yeah oh and one more thing 
at the end of the day. Just don't overreact about, uh, about, you know, another reason to not, uh, do something. Because you have to do something. You have to get YouTube's attention. I don't care what hashtag it is. You have to get YouTube's attention. You can't just back down. Even if it's not the right way, like some people pointed out about the hashtag pick aside YouTube. I mean, I could I couldn't give a fuck if it's that hashtag or any of the other hashtags that have been, you know, ha that have been able to get YouTube's attention. Because at this point, we all need to stop worrying about our incomes and just focus on what, on what really matters. And I want to focus on really matters too. But I can't focus on what really matters if, if some creators are going to complain about their income being taken away because because of what somebody's trying to do, like Mama Max, is to, is to be hurt. Alright? So stop being afraid of being hurt. I mean, seriously. Last time, like, in like over a year ago, one of my videos was taken down. For no apparent reason. And that really angered me the most. So therefore, I'm hoping that YouTube actually tries something new and tries to actually figure out a solution to stop taking down videos of other creators, YouTube channels, who are trying to expose the pedophiles that are roaming around the site. And I really hope that one day we will get the good news that YouTube finally did something good. And I hope that the good thing that YouTube will be doing is to not take videos of exposing pedophiles down. And I hope YouTube stops making this site a child-friendly site. That's what YouTube fucking kids is for. Why hasn't that been... Why are people still talking about it? And why are people still bringing it up is beyond me. But that's what YouTube needs to do is to keep 13 and 13 plus on the platform and 12, 12 minus on the other platform, which is YouTube Kids. So, yeah, I hope YouTube really, really lets mature content in the platform. Because I want to see more mature content in the platform. From all creators, not just television companies. Alright? That's all I want to see. For the rest of YouTube's eternal life. Because that's what you used to be before fucking kids take over. Alright? So, let's go back to that. Please. I had enough. Also, don't call some of these creators pedophiles. If they have the right to criticize the pick aside YouTube hashtag, as well as not make a video about it, then it's their own internet right not to be involved, regardless if these creators think that this movement will backfire or not.